the opportunity to do a project at the Seligman Center is sort of a dream within a dream. Um, and I think that for me, it's going to be an opportunity to really underline um, what I see in, as an under-discussed component of Seligman's work, which is his relationship to magic. Um, I think scholars that are working with him are um, being pretty fearless with that. Um, but I think that uh, as an artist, I can say things that are probably you know, irresponsible. Um, but I do feel that the, um, the center itself has like a quality and has like a, 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 a spirit about it um, that it's pretty obvious to me that, that he and his wife like charged that space. Um, and by the space, I mean the entire property. Um, and I'm really looking forward to exploring that and that relationship to place. Because I think, um, you know, what I know of, of Seligman's biography is, you know, I feel like because he was exiled in so many different ways and from so many different places, um, that, you know, the, the farm seems to be the place that he finally called home. Um, and you can feel that. And again, to be spooky about it, like you can feel it. There, he's there. Um, a part of him is there. And um, I kind of, uh, one of the things I'm looking forward to is talking to him. And that, I don't mean that, I mean that both in the literal and sort of metaphorical sense. Um, this project that I, that, we were, that I was able to participate in here at 80 Washington Square East is the first of a, what I hope will be a, an intimate conversation um, with him, um, both, again, both literally and metaphorically.